and you had asked regarding the Carroll County Regional Coordinating Council for Community Transportation? Yes, I have. I've got some and you have a comment on it? Yes, I do. Okay. okay. Why would you sign it? I will be, the people who are, the, there are a certain number of people who are on this committee, and he just wants those people to buy in it. It helps them uh, show that they have support of various various groups within the county. Don't you feel that, Commissioner, that we've showed our uh, uh, support by giving them a donation? We haven't given any donation. I thought us. we gave them. Uh, no, that was, that's the Carroll County Transit Authority. This is, oh, this I'm confused. Yes. Which this, is this one? This is a this is a group that oversees all transportation in the state. And they are trying to coordinate that transportation so that, um, A, people in the area know what, what kind of transportation is available, uh, that these the available transportation systems work in conjunction with one another, and so that this, within the state, these various different for example, bus routes or bus companies can coordinate with one another so that one can get from point A to point B, even if it were not that in that particular bus route system. That is, somebody from the fixed route system or the or the uh, or, or the demand response system can go and uh, meet up with a bus that's going down to Portsmouth and take that person from Cal from Conway to Portsmouth. Well, I, I still don't see why you need to s sign up uh, a memorandum of agreement if that's what these people should be doing anyhow. I mean, that's their job. Well, that, but we, we don't have a regional council here in the county. We are the only county, Carroll County is the only county that is not involved in this yet. And that's what they're, they're trying to establish, a particular uh, count, council here in this county. We have the Lone Man Act. I guess, I guess my, one of my concerns, and you mentioned it earlier this morning, regarding Carroll County area, um, they don't talk about um, Wakefield or... Yeah. or uh, Probably Brookfield. 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 Are the two that are not included here. They got Jackson, Hot Location, Chatham, Bartlett, Conway. Madison, Eaton, Sandwich, Tamworth, Freedom, Wolfboro, Osprey, Effingham, Tuftonboro, and Wolfboro. Mm -hmm. That is quite I, true. I, um, I have we've heard. always agreed that we support people that are county wide and it covers all, all towns. Um, You don't think that this is a lead-in to the last one on Region 3? Analyze and understand cost allocation and program billing guidelines that must be met. I can see these people coming back in another year and saying, when you signed this agreement, now we need funding. Well, I, I don't know how they could do that. I, we don't have to sign on to this agreement. I can sign on merely as a as a citizen, and they're certainly not going to come to me and ask me for any money. <laughs> That's my own. I, I have no I have no problem if we don't sign on. I will still go to the meetings and still uh, represent the county in any in that way. 
Well, I think we should be represented. I'm not sure that I'd sign a number of David? Is this a regulatory issue? Is this a regulatory agency, or is this just a group of people that are... Oh, it's, <coughs> no, it's, it's, state, it's from the state. Well, what authority do they have? Do you know? Uh, they're funding at the moment, I believe, comes from the DOT on a grant. Asha, how do you feel about this memorandum? You got to talk to them. And what's that one? Let me put it to you this way. It does not have to be done today. Uh -huh. Okay. Because okay. Uh, I will leave it. It has, the, the meetings are once a month. Another one? I thought it was That's it. Right there. That's all right. oh, okay. okay. We'll hold that over for another week. Oh. Um, first of all, uh, our selectmen wanted to have you make a statement that under the farmer's market, which is in there on Saturdays, it's now been changed to Tuesdays in Austin. Uh, uh, we didn't do this. Well, I know, but she was hoping you'd make some kind of an announcement. So would you announce that it's on Tuesdays? The Ossipi Farmer's Market yes. will be on Tuesdays rather than Tuesdays. on... Thank you, Commissioner. When? Whatever they're in the book, whatever the days are, it's changed from Saturday. Tuesdays, okay. But I have some other, a couple of other questions. This lady that's here for the landscaping, I think you made the right decision in, in letting her choose her own vendors because um, that got me thinking, will her contract, uh, what kind of warranty are you going to get for her contract? What happens if she, she buys these... Uh, all these plantings and and they die. Um, well, they, they won't go for a year. Does she guarantee to replace them, or uh, or does that become our responsibility? What are the what are what are her uh, terms in this um, contract? That has not been discussed. However, if we're responsible for doing the watering, then we have a part in the success of whether those plantings taken or not. She is not going to be here watering once a week. And that's why she's talking about a, a portable irrigation system that I assume you turn on a faucet, then it's automatically watered. I, I would hope if you have her do that, that she agrees to assume the responsibility for this plan. If it's on a, if it's on a temporary ir irrigation system, I would assume it's on a timer, and she's going to tell you to turn it on for two hours a day. Yeah. So you want to guarantee the successful of the planting? Well, I want I want some some agreement that 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 uh, I would certainly think that you want some agreement that you know, if one dies, that's a big that's not a big deal. But if puts in uh, yeah. 15 bushes at 150 bucks a piece and they die, who's going to replace them? Yeah. Okay. And my last um, question is. I can't remember whether we got non-public minutes last December or last June, but it's getting to the point where there ought to be some more coming out of it. Some more that we release? Yes. That's what you're asking. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Maureen. Are you going to consider having a tree for Peter in the we Memorial will. Garden? Yep. That's been here discussed or even going on. So. Yeah. 
Another thing that really concerns me, I know Henry unfortunately couldn't be here today, but wanted me to bring this up about uh, Representative McCarthy's letter yep. from the Conway Daily Sun. Yep. Everybody read that. Which one? Which one? Well, the last one where he was yes. ranting and raving and just, I, I felt the information that he got was wrong. And yes. I, I think that it should be addressed. I mean, yes, it's harmful. I mean, I have people coming up to me saying, what is going on down there? So yeah. I really think you, you should, the commissioner should address that. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I, 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 just, I don't know about you, but I mean, I used to, the last couple of years coming here, I felt everybody's mood was, everybody was in a good mood, they enjoyed coming to work. Not so much anymore. Right, and exactly. Letters like that really demoralize yeah. employees. Yeah. And I really hope that you would support your employees by addressing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. his letter. Yeah. Um, the other thing was, you had gone over some policy changes. I think you had four. Yeah, I get it. I've got to talk with Robin Reed about those before we approve of them. But do you have any questions on them? Uh, well, are you going to go over them? Are you, are you going to bring this up again? We'll, we'll do it next week, Robin. You have a chance between now and then. Uh, they may be done in a little better fashion than what I Well, that was going to be my question. Is yeah. You're going to flush these out a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but do you have any questions regarding them right now? Or the meaning of them? Or what the intentions are? Uh, I did, but I didn't write it down. So. I guess we're on the, on the, the uh, second to the last page. Page seven. Page seven, okay. Oh, yeah, page seven. Oh, there is page seven. Thank you. At the very top. It said, Commissioner Sorensen would like to go over possible changes in policies and is listed one through four. Oh, yeah. I, I don't understand number two, I guess. No elected or appointed county officer shall pay or agree to pay or incur any liability for payment of any sum of money. That's basically a state law. Made no specific appropriation. What does that mean? That means that uh, we can't go out and buy a truck under uh, under equipment if it hasn't been decided way in advance that that's what we're going to do. Okay. In other words, misappropriation of dollars used. And especially if there's no if there's no line item budgeted, let's say for equipment, let's say that says zero, uh, we can't spend any money under that line item because it's zero budgeted. If it's one dollar budgeted, then we can overexpend that as long as under the policy we agree as a board to overexpend that line item. And no revenue will be spent in the receiving year except grants received for a particular purpose. Well, no revenue. Rev could you just? In other words, we <coughs> might be able to bring in revenue from campfire wood. Well, we can't use that to buy a wood splitter. Okay. Unless that wood splitter is under a line item approved in the budget. So you revenue just goes into into a general, general category. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you want to make this more specific. That's why, that's why you came up with this? Yeah. Okay. Because, well. And why do you need to say uh, the receiving year? There's no revenue well, will be spent except grants received for a particular purpose. You don't have to have that in there. It's I didn't little, have it in there. I, I wrote that in, and I don't remember now why that was done in, in the receiving year. Um, that would indicate if you, if you had revenue, you, you get spend revenue it next on the year. 1st of January for something you didn't in December, you could spend it in that year. No, I, year. it shouldn't be spent, period. Yeah, well, that's what I, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little confusing. <coughs> okay. Go ahead, David. This now I'm confused about number four. So if you have revenue, you can't spend it. Don't you? Uh, your intent is you can't 